Welcome to the Accelerated Investor Podcast with Josh Cantwell. If you're looking to retire early with forever passive income, you're in the right place. This podcast is the go-to destination for real estate investors, both active and passive, and multifamily apartment investors, both new, intermediate, and advanced. Now, sit back, listen, learn, and accelerate your business, your life, and your investing with the Accelerated Investor Podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Accelerated Real Estate Investment. We have a phenomenal guest on today, Tony Gillingham. He's going to take us through his journey of how he has arrived to where he is today. Thank you so much for being part of this program and this project. Tony, please bring us into your space. Give us a little history about your journey through real estate, but more importantly, how did you find Josh? Okay. Well, I uh, I started back in real estate in 1986. Um, when I got my real estate license and uh, one of the first houses we ever bought was a duplex. We are really, and we lived in half of it and uh, basically lived there for free and then built our portfolio from there. We we're buying one or two houses, duplexes and singles and uh, actually held that portfolio till just recently. Um, we sold most of that off and was able to buy a 30, um, I'm sorry, a 14 unit over in Milan, Ohio, the birthplace of Thomas Edison. They're all townhouses. Uh, we bought it from a friend and uh, we totally turned that property and was looking for more. And I just didn't know how to, uh, to purchase large expensive properties. So I uh, was a, a member of the Lake Erie Landlord Association and I was at a meeting and Josh was a key speaker there. And Josh talked uh, uh, about his uh, struggles and he had just came out of the pancreatic cancer uh, uh, surgery and talked about his why. And he was making the big shift from um, doing flips to multifamily. So after that meeting, you know, I was in the corporate world with Westinghouse and doing uh, automation and stuff, factory automation electronically, went back to work. Uh, I was let go uh, during COVID, and at the age of 59, I figured I've got, I know how, you know, and my, my units were doing well, and I thought, I'm not going to go build another sales territory for someone else. I'm going to do it for myself. So, uh, see, I, I flipped a few houses back from 2004 to 2008, the crash. Um, so I, I had a taste of that, but there again, you know, you're only as good as the last sale, right? Just like I was when I was selling electrical supplies. I, I was good as, as what I did the month before. So anyways, uh, so after I, I met Josh, uh, I, I uh, it was about a year or so. And I was thinking um, after this happened to me, well, I should look him up. So I, I thought, well, maybe I can go to work for him. And then I... Uh, I, I saw, I watched one of his podcasts and it said to, you know, to join. And so I, I looked into it and I interviewed and actually I was accepted because I had my portfolio in that. And um, it's, I, I think, uh, let me think. I, I joined in, uh, let's see here, 615 of 2021 is when I joined the masterminds. And, uh, and you know, it's been a great thing because I tell you, you know, you try to figure this out on your own. You make one mistake and your whole life savings gone, you know? So, uh, so anyways, uh, we currently have, we, since being there, I was, I, I bought a 38 unit townhouse complex right here in my hometown of here in Ohio. And I am in the process of turning that right now. We just, we put it in contract late last year. And we closed on it just before the end of the year. Uh, that was a huge success story. And Josh held my hand through all that stuff. And yeah. so we were successful and we're turning that now. And we're almost to halfway through it. Uh, uh, so we, we, we also own a uh, trailer park, a little 10 slot that we bought down on the river. Uh, that's been a challenge. Uh, it was a... Uh, 
less than nice. And uh, we've got it turned around a bit and uh, looking to, to do some stuff or maybe even redevelop it. I have a lake a waterfront property on the on the water uh, in the river. So it's, it's, it's a nice spot. But other than that, we own a couple other duplexes and single families. And we were in uh, the vacation rental business. Uh, we had two, uh, we live right up here on the lake, Lake Erie, right between Toledo and Cleveland. Uh, and uh, so we had two lakefront condos, uh, one um, here in the Sandusky by the, there's a huge amusement park. We had one there and we did really well with that. We ended up selling that unit and using that at a 1031 when we bought the 38 unit in here on this. So that was some of our, our down payment, I guess. Um, we own another one that's out by Put-in Bay. Um, Put-in Bay is they they call the uh, northern the Key West of the North is what they call it. So it's 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 pretty much a, a party party downtown and a lot of cottages and lakefront homes out on that island. We own a at the next island up. We we own a condo and we do vacation rentals out of that also. So. That's pretty much what I have. I have like a total of 66 units in my in my neighborhood here within 25 mile radius. Man, that is so awesome, Tony. Let me, you, you said something that was kind of key. I wanted, I wanted to touch on two points you made. First point was you left your job of so many years, not because of your choice, but because of COVID. So let me ask you this question. When it was you that that time to make the decision of I'm no longer going to build the future or you know build somebody's mansion for them, I want to build my own. What was that like? What was that process like when you finally when you said enough's enough? It's time to go all in on the real estate. We understand this. Let's go all in. Take us through that process. Like how how did that feel? The emotions of saying we're going all in and we're building our future. Yeah, well, we that was easier now that I had the fourteen unit. Well, the fourteen unit units, and uh, my wife also had a business that was doing well, which she's retiring at the end of this month. That was one of my goals. Um, let's see here. So, um, yeah, you know, I built I don't know three or four or five different territories for different companies throughout my years, and I just knew I could do it. I I, you know, I, uh, I already had the experience in real estate. I hold a real estate license. I bought and sold many units and uh, just thought, I can do this, you know. So, you know, it's, it's just having the, the will to do it. Um, you know, I had a heart attack at the age of 36 and was one of the reasons I would probably been in multifamily a long time ago if I'd have just um believed in myself back then and you know with security having babies and uh needing a corporate uh uh, uh I'm sorry I'm I'm stumbling here uh they have the benefits of being in the corporate world is what gave me the security to stay there and and my wife is you know she I probably would have took a lot more risks, uh, which, you know, she kept me tied down a little bit there. But anyways, uh, so that, you know, that's basically it. Um, I, I just knew I could do it because I was already doing it in a smaller scale. And then once we got that 14 unit, I saw the light of the multifamily. You, you also made some, mentioned that, you know, once you got into the program, Josh was able to help you acquire you know, yes. gave you that, gave you that. What I hear is, is that Josh helped you think bigger, bolder, and gave you the confidence to be, to know what you've already done in the past is now going to help you and transition to into future purchases and future gains. Let me ask you about this. How has the leadership in the program been for you? How have they helped you along your journey path, your real estate path of the journey? Are you ready to automate and explode your real estate investing? We're searching for extremely motivated individuals who are sick and tired of wasting time 
and want to finally see real results from their real estate investing business. We're searching for investors looking to get to the next level and become a bigger, better version of themselves while being a more successful real estate investing entrepreneur. Apply for mentoring and coaching at joshcantwellcoaching.com forward slash podcast. That's joshcantwellcoaching.com forward slash podcast. Oh, mean. I, it's it's a step-by-step process. He teaches you everything and it's raw. I mean, he he will give you information you will not get anywhere else. He, uh, you know, and he'll hold you to it. He, he wants accountability because, you know, you are him. I mean, he is, you know, so he, uh, and it's not, not just Josh, all oh, it's the whole group. So like you have like-minded people like yourself in this group and you see their success. So you're saying, well, you know, you meet them at these, uh, at the uh, masterminds and stuff. And you, they're just, they're just people like you and me and they're doing it. And, and so it gives you that, that you can do attitude, I guess. Got so, um, I mean, like he'll step you through some of his deals show you everything he's doing so i mean how do you go wrong with that i mean if you if you try to do that on your own and make one mistake like i said before you could lose everything and uh you know for the little bit of money now i've been paid back you know, like that one deal alone for what i got in investing in myself with josh is paid back 10 times mm, i love that guys you hear that can do attitude mentorship gives you the confidence and to be able to watch what Josh does. I mean, come on, you can't beat that. It's worth it. It's weight in gold. And you're hearing it from Tony telling you he's it's, it's already been paid back. Let me ask you this question. What are one or two actual items that you could tell somebody who was looking to either first looking to get in the program? What would, what would be one or two actual items that you would tell them? And then second is what would be one or two actual items you would tell somebody that's in the program, but it's not all the way into the program. Yeah. Follow steps. Listen, he's got it. He's he's on YouTube. I, I found him on YouTube. He teaches almost the same stuff and has excellent interviews with all these people. And I I I dirt I I, I, re, I ride a recumbent bike every day. I watch and I and I time myself by his podcast. <laughs> I, I do every day I watch his new stuff. I keep up on everything. He gives you a wealth of information and it's free. Um, not only, you know, I've, uh, you know, I watch him, I watch other investors, Jake and Gino. I like, I watch, you know, Grant Cardone, all that. I just soak it all in. And, uh, you know, Josh tells you, I mean, when you're in this program, you meet, you know, twice a day uh, on a zoom call twice a week. And he's, he goes over stuff. Not only that, with this program, you get a library of every one of every time we sit down and have a a, a, a pod meeting or a, a, a Zoom meeting, it's all recorded. You can go back; it's a library. Not only that, you got all his paperwork, all his contracts, everything you need is at the fingertips, and with a click of a button, you're there, and you got it. And you can call him; he'll talk. He's just a regular guy. A hell of a guy. And you can call him on his cell phone. He'll talk to you. You know, he'll, he'll, you know. So, I mean, the support is huge, huge part of this. I absolutely love it. Love, before I let you go, I love how you brought this up. You ride on the bike, you listen to Josh. Give us, you know, three or four, three to five books besides Josh's book, because he's got a phenomenal books. What are three to five books that you would recommend or podcasts that you would recommend anybody to either read or, or listen to? Well, read your Bible. Um, I uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad was the easiest read. It teaches you in simplest form, and, and that's basically what I read years ago when I started buying my singles and duplexes. So that is uh, that's that's one. Um, you know, I had uh, I had a few other ones. I I tell you, I'm not a great big reader because I I, th I think I have attention deficit disorder. To tell you the truth, <laughs> I, I run around in circles like a crazy man. But um, I would say podcasts. I like Jake and Gino. Uh, they they're they're very good guys. I like some of Cardone. Uh, you know, um, I like 
um, bigger pockets. I, I, I watch it all. Josh is, you know, by far, like I said, I looked at all those programs and uh, Josh is the real deal. Love it. Guys, if you listen to this, uh, what you are or watching this, what you are, take Tony's advice, get involved, get grounded and get moving. Because as you can see, little small steps, little things you do all the time is going to, it's going to yield big reward and big, uh, big success for you guys in the future. This has been, and this is why we do this because we bring people on who are real and authentic. If you can't feel that from Tony, you have no pulse, just kidding. But <laughs> this has been a, a guys, this has been a phenomenal episode of the podcast. This is why we're here on the accelerated real estate investment until next time. We'll see you later. Have a great day. Thanks everybody. Tony, man, could have you on every week. That was awesome. Good, good. I'm glad you liked it. That was fantastic. That was really good. I loved it. And the emotional, I could feel the emotion of it. Oh, man, that was so good. What will happen good. is um, uh, the, the media team will reach out, let you know when you know your, your episode will go live on Josh's podcast. It'll be great because then you can post it. You can, you know, on your social media, post it all over everywhere. Say, so, hey, guys, I'm check me out on my uh, a huge syndicated podcast you know Josh Cantwell and you'll be able to listen to it and it'll be phenomenal and people will just it, it help you know your network to help you build your brand and build your growth and we it's a small gift that we can give back to you um for all the work and everything we've done man I appreciate it so much thank you so much it was it was i was i was it was harder to build up to the moment than just to do it and i think that's you know like Josh tells us we should do our own podcast. And I, I think I can really do it. I just, mm -hmm. I have enough knowledge that, you know, but it's just getting, my biggest problem is, is like, I didn't have a big organization. Like Josh went from flipping houses into doing this. And I just don't have my CapEx guy. I don't have another, I don't have a Tyler and all those guys. So like I'm leaving here, I'm going over. I haven't had my roof put on. I've had, I got nine guys on a roof right now, and I got six guys putting in in uh, vinyl plank flooring, and two guys sanding railings, and that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Plus, well, I manage, you... I self manage all my own stuff right now. It's just tough. There you go. Well, hey, <laughs> but we'll get there. We'll get there because I know yeah. the steps now. I love it, Tony. Man, I appreciate it. We'll let you we'll reach out to you. Let you know when you're when you're going to be the star yeah, of the you show. Got a, if you got a copy of that, I'd sure like to watch it <laughs> absolutely we'll get over to you hey okay have a good thank weekend you. i appreciate your time all right thank you have Thanks, a great buddy. day yep. you were just listening to the accelerated investor podcast with josh cantwell if you enjoyed this episode and learned something new help us build the ai community by leaving a review and five-star rating on our itunes podcast channel also don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another episode to see passive investing opportunities, visit freelandventures.com slash passive. To start your journey toward the lifestyle you've always dreamed of with multifamily apartments, apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching with Josh at www.joshcantwellcoaching.com. <laughs>